can hear me? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to keep this short because we've all known Coach Kendra for a long time, and we have a lot of softball left to play this season. So, in true Coach Kendra fashion, um, too bad though we're going to take the time to, to pause and celebrate this one. So, um, if anything, I've learned a lot of things from Coach Kendra, and one of the things that he's always told all of his his players is that you put the team first. You put the team goals first, and the individual accolades will come. And this, I think, is a perfect tribute to that. Congratulations, Coach. 1,500 wins. It's absolutely amazing. So I'm going to let him say a few words, but how about this series this weekend? What a wonderful person, what a wonderful as ambassador of the University of Arizona and the Tucson community and the softball uh, sport itself around the world. Thank you so much, Coach Andrea. Well, one of the great things about uh, longevity is you get a chance to work for one of your former players. <laughs> He's not my boss, but uh, you know, this is a milestone I think for this program and for many of you that have followed Arizona softball since 1993 when we built Hillenbrand Stadium. And um, there's a lot of people that go into this milestone, me being one, but truthfully, it's been a lot of great players, a lot of great coaches, uh, a great administration that has supported us over the years. And for me to be able to find something that I have a passion for. And that is the game of baseball, the game of softball. Uh, I've been on a softball field or baseball field since I was five years old. So I always tell people I've lived a blessed life. Um, I've come to work every day, not ever thought it was work. It's always been fun. And really the credit goes to the people behind me because I'm so excited about this group. And if you watch them, <laughs> But I'll, I'll guarantee you one thing, they make me very proud. And um, this was a, a good example of what you've, you're going to see from here on out. I hope you guys will come out and start packing this place again uh, now that we have a winner. <laughs> you notice that that goes hand in hand. That's okay because uh, we have set the, the goals and the standards very high for this program. Um, this is what we expect each and every day to come out and give you our very best. And so I want to thank you, the fans. Um, I want to thank the Hill Brands for giving us this opportunity, the Lappins for helping us with the Lappin Center, and I hope many more of you that have some money that want to come out and, and help us finish phase two of this facility. Yeah. Because it, it was one of the best in 93, it needs a facelift right now, and I think these kids deserve it. So, thanks for coming out right now.